Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day today. I just wanted to do kind of a quick video today, kind of, you know, just like unfiltered here. Um, just on my phone, but um, some kind of breaking news from Prime One Studio. Um, a lot of Australian collectors today got an email from Prime One saying that um, they're canceling a bunch of orders. Um, and it's based on any product that had batteries. Um, these round batteries, these little batteries, uh, because the Australian government basically ban them because of risk. And so Prime One sent out this big email today saying that we're canceling all these orders, we're gonna refund you, no problem. But a lot of Australian collectors obviously woke up to that news like, well, you know, this is crappy because you know we want the statue. Um, and Prime One even said in the email that they are looking at, you know, changing all of their products, I think, with batteries or doing something different. So I think a lot of those projects are on hold. I think a lot of them were predator-based statues. Uh, so luckily, you know, us Batman collectors don't have to worry about that too much. But <clears throat> it just got me thinking, you know, should companies discontinue batteries? Like, I know light-up features are cool in some regards, but I feel like sometimes they're just unnecessary. I mean, they, they do add some neat elements sometimes. But do we really need them? Do we really need batteries uh, in our statues, um, or is USB a good alternative? Um, you know, the other day we talked about that Hot Toys is going to start doing USB lightsabers, um, <clears throat> and so I think I think that's a good trend. I think that's great where you could just plug it in. But I'm just curious. I just want to put it back over to you guys. Do you think we need batteries in statues? Do you think we should go USB, or do you think at this point we should just be like, okay, you know what? We don't really need the light ups. Uh, if especially if it saves money, I mean, if it if it reduces the cost of a, of a of a statue, I mean, I get like Iron Man statues and stuff are cool if they have light up features. Yeah, I get that. But outside of that, do you guys think we need it? Um, so again, I just want to turn it over to you. I just thought it was an inter interesting topic, and I just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, say that to you guys today in case you might have missed that news, especially if you're an Australian collector, that uh, some of those products were just flat out canceled. Um, which again does stink and I don't know if that means that they will be canceled to other collectors as well if they are deciding to tweak and not do batteries or maybe they just needed more time I don't know so it'll be interesting I, again it'll be a story that we continue to follow here on the channel but I always like to uh, bring you guys breaking news if I can uh, you know find it and so anyway it's an interesting topic and I do want to know what you think down below of course um, you know, where you, where do you stand with light-ups? You know, we don't talk about it too often, but I'm not a big fan of them. I just don't think they're necessary. Uh, for most statues, again, like Iron Man's cool, but I don't need any light-up features in my Batman. I mean, like I even have like the XM Studios Bat Bike, uh, Sean Murphy. It's fantastic. It's got that great lantern. I, I, don't, I don't think I'll ever light it up, though. Um, maybe for photos or something, but I don't think it needed to be lit up. I mean, it's still cool with the lamp, just, you know, not lit up. Um, so anyway, I just want to know your thoughts and opinions. Again, real short video uh, this morning, uh, but I just thought it was interesting. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the Batcave. Bye, everybody.